Hi, uh, it's time for another math easy solution term discuss further into differential equations and now look at orthogonal trajectories again I uh, did this a, a long while ago I'm basically going to recap and go over an example uh, example one on orthogonal trajectories and differential equations uh, basically uh, recall from my earlier video that an orthogonal trajectory of a family of curves is a curve that intersects each curve of that family orthogonally that is at right angles. It's, uh, in other words, it's perpendicular. And again, yeah, make sure to watch my earlier videos on orthogonal trajectories if you want to get a uh, another recap on it. Uh, basically, so what, what we mean by this, if you have a bunch of curves like this, say this is, let's say you have a bunch of curves, uh, this is a family of curves then basically a orthogonal trajectory is, is a curve that intersects each of these family of curves at right angles. For example, let's draw this in red and assume these are all right angles. It's, uh, it's not drawn perfectly the scale, but yeah, so assume these are all right angles and this, this red curve would be called an orthogonal orthogonal trajectory and uh, like that. Yeah, for instance, uh, if we were to look at a, just a specific example, each member of the family y equals mx of straight lines through the origin, where m is just a constant and x is the independent variable, is an orthogonal trajectory of the family x squared plus y squared equals r, r squared of concentric circles yeah, with the origin as the center. And concentric just means they all share the same origin. So if this is this is an equation of a circle, and again, if you vary r or the radius, you get a bunch of circles, and straight lines through the origin is actually an orthogonal trajectory. So if we were to draw this out, let's draw this out like this. This is x, this is y. And uh, I'll, see, I'll do my best drawings. Let's draw the circles, something like this. This is a, that's a bad circle right there. Okay, let's get one more. So again, these aren't perfectly drawn circles, but but yeah, you get the point. If you were draw now a line straight through, let's go a line like this. These would all be at right angles, and uh, etc. So if you were draw one across like this through it, again these would all be right angles. So these straight lines are orthogonal trajectories of. Um, yeah, of the family of circles. So yeah, so this is an example like that. Also draw it across like that. It's still all at right angles. Yeah, and uh, and we call these basically these two families are both orthogonal trajectories of each other. Because if you look at the family of straight lines, and then the you could draw these circles about them, and those are also orthogonal trajectories of uh, the straight lines. So uh, yeah, basically they're both orthogonal trajectories of each other. And now let's look at this example here. So find the orthogonal trajectories of the family of curves x equals k times y squared, where k is just a constant. So this is just a parabola, but this again, it's curved on the, uh, it's curved about the x-axis as opposed to y. So if you were to graph this out, it would look something like this. Let me draw this out. That x, y. So x equals ky squared would look something like this. So you would have it. Uh, it's a parabola, but it, where x is, uh, it's, it's our new y if you were to rotate. So it looks something like this. I'll draw, if you had a negative k value, we'll go like this, etc. So these are how the trajectories, I mean, or the, uh, the curves would look like, uh, depending on different values of k. So we got to find... Uh, orthogonal, orthogonal trajectories to this, and, and from this, you would it would look like it should be an ellipse. So if you draw, if you, if you were to draw something that's matching all these at once, it would have to be an ellipse, as you can see, like that. So this is our prediction. It has to be some sort of ellipse type shape. And in fact, that's what we actually will get once I go through the uh, solution. Now the first step is to uh, find a single differential equation that is satisfied by all the members of this family of curves. So if we were to look at this x equals ky squared, uh, basically when you take the derivative of this, 
uh, we what we end up getting is, or we take the derivative in terms of x on both sides, so we do d over dx, and again, the reason we're taking, uh, we want a differential equation, we're taking a derivative, is because as I explained before, the slopes of, um, if you have perpendicular lines like either the tangent line or the slopes are gonna be, or the slopes of the tangent lines are gonna be uh, negative reciprocals of that, and I'll get to that in a bit, but also I went over my earlier video on that, so make sure to see that in my related videos in the video description below, but I'll get to that in a bit uh, as well. So we take a derivative of both sides in terms of x, okay, y squared like that, what do we end up getting? A derivative of x, in terms of x is just 1 equals 2, and then derivative, we have to use chain rules, so this is derivative of y, uh, of y squared, that's k, we take the k out, just a constant, k times it by 2y, and then now we do chain rule, take derivative of y in terms of uh, x, of dy over dx. So this is what we end up having. What we could do is divide this out and move it over to here. And what we end up get is just to make it uh, easier, just write the derivative as its own on its own side. So dy over dx equals to one over, yeah, one over two ky, and there is our differential equation. But the problem with this differential equation, it depends on k. Again, this differential equation depends on k, but we need an equation that is valid for all values of k simultaneously because we're trying to find a family of curves uh, that are trajectories of the, uh, of the parabolas. So what we'll do here, because we don't depend on this constant k, uh, recall that x equals ky squared. So basically recall x equals ky squared, and now what we can do is, is well we look at here, this 2ky, we could either replace by ky, or just solve for k, just to uh, make it simpler, instead of think, overthinking it. So k equals 2x over y squared, or we could write yk, or ky is equal to x over y. But anyway, so we have this, now we just plug it inside. So what we have is two uh, dy over dx equals two, one over two, and that's the k now, but we plug this inside, so this is the x over y squared times y. The y's cancel, and what we end up getting is one over, I mean, no, one of the y's cancel, this cancels with this. We get one over x over y, like that, and x, 1 divided by x divided by y, we could just take this y and put it on top because it's uh, divided by. So what we end up getting, this is the same thing as writing, let's put this arrow still there, this is the same thing as writing uh, y over 2x. So our differential equation is equal to dy over dx is equal to y divided by 2x, and, it, and this is doesn't matter what the k value is, so it could be anything, and it, this is, it will still apply here. And yeah, basically this means that the slope of the tangent line at any point x, y on the parabolas um, is basically y prime is equal to y over 2x. So this is the slope at any point of the, um, of the family of curves that we were given of x equals uh, ky squared. So that's the slope, and again, recall as I stated before that an, that on an orthogonal trajectory, the slope of the tangent line must be the negative reciprocal of the slope of, of on the family of curves on the above family of curves. So in, in other words, in other words, if we have let's say the slope here for this family of curves determined by this uh, differential equation and the one above we're given, let's say the slope is equal to m, and then the tangent line at that point of the trajectory, if it's if it's right angle to it, if it's orthogonal, this slope has to equal to the negative reciprocal, negative, and reciprocal is just flip this over, so one divided by m. And again, the proof of this is in my earlier video, make sure to watch that in the video link below. Yes, yeah, so thus the orthogonal trajectories must satisfy the differential equation. Well, this is the equation for this family of curves. The, the orthogonal trajectories must be the negative reciprocal, so we have dy over dx equals to negative, and then one divided by, and then we're just flipping this around. This is gonna be now y over two x. So we just put a negative and flip it around. 
And again, this is, let's put this in regular brackets, I mean square brackets. And, and again, the 2x, you just put that on top. So this equals 2, negative 2x over y, and this is dy over dx. So this is the differential equation for the, um, yeah, for the orthogonal trajectories. And now this uh, differential equation is separable, so it's a separable differential equation, and we can solve it as, uh, as, follows, as follows, and it's again using the method I went over in my earlier videos on separable equations. So what I mean by that is if you write dy over dx, this equals to negative 2x over y. And again, this is where we can't have uh, y is equal to 0. So y is not equal to 0 because you have this divided by y here. Um, it's going to otherwise be undefined. We're going to infinity. So what we have here is what we could do is move all the y's on this side and the dx or the x's on the right side. So what we end up getting is y dy is equal to negative, I'll put this further out, negative 2x dx. And then just take the integral on both sides. So now integral on both sides, we're not changing anything because we're doing it to, this, to both sides. So we take the integral and this one left is, on, is in terms of y, so we get a y squared over 2 plus a uh, constant, we'll call that c1. And then on the other side we have negative 2 and then integral of x is just x squared over 2 and then t plus a constant c2 like that. So what you end up getting is again y squared over 2 and then move the constant all over to this side and combine them and then cancel the 2 here, so negative x squared plus c where c is equal to basis c2 minus c1 and it's just a constant as well and a subtraction of two constants is still a constant just combine them just for simplicity and now what we could do is just move this x squared on this side instead of solving for y uh, just uh, explicitly and the reason is because uh, this is a familiar equation when we move this x uh, on the left side so what we end up getting is a x squared over, I'm mean just an x squared, just move this over, plus y squared over 2 equals to c. And this is just, this is an equation of an ellipse. This is, so these are basically ellipses. And again, as, as I explained in my uh, earlier, uh, just up, above here, we assumed they were going to be ellipses, and they in fact we end up getting ellipses. And again, this equation of ellipses, if you want to learn more about ellipses and circles, make sure to see my earlier video on that. So, th so that's our ellipses right there. Yeah, so basically thus the orthogonal trajectories are, again as I just stated, are the family of ellipses given by the above equation and if we graph them out we get something that looks like this. So this is a graph right here I copied uh, off, off this website, it's a pretty useful website, you just plug in implicitly, um, you don't need to solve it for y explicitly, just plots it out on its own. So this is here, that's the website, I went over this in my early videos as well. Basically what we have here, as you can see, these are all right angles to the parabolas, and these parabolas have, uh, as you can see here, the red, that's the, this is the x equals 2, ky squared, where the red here is 1, k equals to 1, this orange here is k equals to negative 1, and then we have green is, uh, on this, this yellowish is 2, k equals to 2, this one right here is k equals to negative 2, as you can see it's parabolas on that, and then on both sides it's right angles across them all. And in fact even the uh, y equals 0 line is uh, is a right angle as well, even just a straight line as well across is a right angle, even these are actually in fact right angles as well. And then on the circles curve you can write, write them like this, x squared plus y squared divided by 2 equals 1 here, that's the c equals to 1, that's this purple-ish one here, that's c equals to 1 where that equation is again x squared plus y squared over 2 equals to c c equals 1, then I have 2, 3, and 4, c equals to 2, and to see the radius is getting bigger and bigger, c equals, or the, uh, not radius, but just, just circles getting, or ellipse is getting bigger and bigger. And then this last one is c equals to 4. As you can see, uh, again, it's all uh, perfectly orthogonal. 
And again, I just want to make another note. Note if C is a negative constant, because again, I picked only positive constants, one, two, three, four. If it's a negative constant, then it's not a real number because x squared plus y squared divided by two, these are always positive. Anything you put in it and squared is positive. So you would have to deal with imaginary numbers and I'll go over those in later videos. And again, that's on the imaginary real uh, scale and it's not. And again, that's beyond the scope of this video. But anyways, um, another note is uh, also orthogonal trajectories. They also occur in various branches of physics. For example, in an electrostatic field, the lines of force are orthogonal to the lines of constant potential. And I'll go over what those are in hopefully in later videos. But anyways, that's just uh, one uh, application. Another one is streamlines and aerodynamics or orthogonal trajectories of the velocity equal potential curves. And again, I'll go over those in hopefully later videos. But again, this is just wanted to point out that in, in physics and engineering, the you can have, the, there are a lot of uh, cases where you're dealing with orthogonal trajectories. So developing ways to solve them, like as we just did with differential equations and separable equations, is uh, yeah very useful to have, and is also yeah applied in in, in a lot of engineering. Anyways, that's all for today. Hope you learned from this uh, pretty extensive and interesting video on orthogonal trajectories. And like always, you could download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.